Hey everyone, welcome to Facebook Live today. My name is Regan Innes. And I'm Tiffany Sutherland. And today we're talking about ergonomics, and that is everything about your desk, how it's set up, and optimizing your workplace to help you work more efficiently. So um, I'll let Tiffany give you the Trivia Tuesday question, and I'll share this to our preferred page. All right. Um, so you guys are going to want to listen hard during this one because I'll actually answer this throughout the video. But our Trivia Tuesday question today is going to be, what is the best position um, for you to be seated in while working at your desk? Um, and again, listen hard because I'll be answering this throughout the video today. And um, also, as you guys might notice in the background, uh, we'll have some pretty sweet background music for you as we have Riverfest going on right outside. So make sure this week you uh, check that out as well. Um, look up, wave to us as you <laughs> are across the street. Um, but so if you will come over here, we're going to be moving around a little bit today. So bear with us as we move throughout the different offices. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different workstations and different things that the girls here have going good for them. Some things that they could maybe do to change, um, and have a little bit better posture positioning and stuff while they're at their desks. So, um, we're going to actually first see Regan's desk space. So um, as we get started here, there are a couple of things I already noticed um, that she could do to fix her <laughs> herself. Um, one thing, uh, one of the most important things about a, a workspace, especially as you know, a desk worker that is going to be seated all day, is finding a chair that you are able to adjust. Um, Regan actually has a, a great chair um, there. She is able to not only adjust hers up and down, um, but she also has some as she comes up a little bit um, she also has armrests that are adjustable too and then I'm gonna spin you around here um, she actually a cool feature that I have not as many chairs have are is an adjustable lumbar support um, it's not a huge feature but uh, for some people that do have some of that you know low back pain and stuff this could be a really good asset to have um, especially if you're in the market for a new desk chair um, and as you look for different things in your seat um, so one thing I noticed about Regan's workstation and she kind of fixed it a little bit was she likes to sit with her de with her chair Super all low. the way down <laughs> um, so I can lounge yeah she likes to That's lounge cool. which actually the best position you can be in all day is your next position so making sure that you are always kind of thinking about where you want to sit next in your chair um, a lot of people think that the that you need to be like 100% you know upright and stuff that's actually gonna could cause more tension and discomfort to you so um, again your next position is your best position but uh, Regan kind of adjusted it a little bit already but um, one thing you want to try and do and maintain you know regularly throughout the day is this seated posture which is your best seated posture um, and it's gonna be knees at 90 feet flat on the floor um, hips at 90 and then elbows at 90 so being able making sure that you're able to work in that they call it your power zone um, anything like yeah I yes. like the power zone. <laughs> um, anything out of your power zone is going to add some a little bit of extra stress to your limbs. So uh, Regan already kind of fixed her chair. She was sitting really low down in it. Um, one thing that, you know, I'm going to scoot you back out. Uh, one bad thing you want to make sure you avoid is, like, she was too low because that can create pressure on the back of your thighs. Or sitting, oh, Aaron, can you stand up for just a second? Oh, yeah, I forget that. Sitting up too high. Oh, and if man. you sit all the way back you'll notice that her feet are nice and dangly on the ground that also can put some pressure on the back of your thighs create some discomfort in your legs um, if you don't have an adjustable chair like Regan here uh, one thing you might want to look for is a foot rest to be able to rest your feet on um, something to help keep them from dangling like hers are right now so I'll get that alleviate some of that a little bit for her but uh, we'll scoot her back up to her desk now um, Another big thing that I see with Regan's desk is, so she's working from a laptop and a monitor screen. So, um, 
as you can see, she kind of has to not only reach a little bit to use her keyboard, but also um, her arms are in more of a, like a flexed raised position, kind of a little bit awkward, especially if she's Very gonna awkward. have to set, spend some prolonged time in that position. So um, honestly, one of the better things she could do is get um, a dual screen, and I'll be able to show you that, our, uh, that at our next workstation. Uh, Regan is on the move quite a bit, so that's why she has a laptop and then that dual monitor for when she is in the office. Um, a quick fix that she could do for her workstation so that she's not in that extended out position um, would be to get like an external keyboard that she could just plug into a USB device and then be able to work from here. And that she would want to, you know, raise her chair maybe up a little bit farther, move those armrests up so that she's not quite, you know, um, yep, so scrunched up. Um, the rest of it, you know, is really good. She's not having to like reach super far for her phone. Um, one thing that she could do is, is move that a little bit closer so that she doesn't have to, you know, extend way out to get it. Um, a great thing that she does have going for her is that she's not trying to use her uh, laptop's um, keypad all the time to do things. She's able to put her hand back down in a relaxed position with a mobile mouse like that. So um, just some quick fixes and, you know, relatively inexpensive. Any workstation, you know, you could spend max dollars for the best workstation. Um, and there's also, you know, some of those things that I showed her that she could do to, um, you know, modify her workstation to best fit her. Um, another thing that she's done great for the laptop monitor pair is she has her laptop on a riser, which does make it harder for that keyboarding, but makes it a little bit easier on her eyes when she's looking at the computer screen. So, so the best seated position is? Best seated position is going to be feet flat on the floor, knees at 90, hips at 90, elbows at 90 in that power zone. Um, trying, to, trying to say that, and yeah. And then always making sure you are, you know, moving positions a little bit. You know, if you're, you want to put, you, you can even like, it's, it, a lot of people think it's not great. I mean, you don't want to spend hours in it, but, you know, leaning a little bit forward for a little while, leaning even in a more relaxed posture for a little while while you're seated, you know, stretching your legs out every now and then. Um, another great thing that you can do at your office, and we've kind of gone over some of these the last couple of weeks, is, you know, making sure you're warming up your day with some good stretches um, again I was doing those earlier today. yeah yeah um, and not only warming up with that but also incorporating it throughout your day just so you're not getting so stiff or you know having you know any problems with like carpal tunnel or anything like that so Perfect. those are some some different good things you can throw in throughout your day so awesome. should we go um, check out Rachel's yeah desk? let's go check out Rachel's desk she actually has some really cool features that uh, maybe not quite a few people have seen this before. I mean, they are pretty darn cool. Right here. All right, I'll let Regan go first. Um, so Rachel has a little bit bigger space that she's working with here. Um, one different thing about Rachel's chair that you might, that I noticed right off is that her arms are actually not adjustable. So she wouldn't be able to do anything about that, you know, if she was shorter or taller, they just kind of are where they come from. Um, <laughs> One thing that you can, I can see here is uh, this chair is adjustable up and down. Um, it is a little bit high for Regan right now. Her feet are a little bit dangly as she's sitting all the way back in the chair. Um, and then as you can see, this one does not have any kind of lumbar adjustment with it, which again, isn't a huge feature, but if you do have some problems with that, you might wanna try and find like a pillow or um, a wedge or something that can alleviate some of that pressure, help you get that position change that you might need throughout your work day. So um, some cool things that Rachel has here is she actually has a wrist rest for her desk, for her keyboard. So what those do is it helps to keep your wrists in more of a neutral position. Um, it's uh, really helpful for you know instances where you might need a little bit higher or um, she could even take it away You know if it's too much for her. Um, hers is what I was talking about earlier is that dual monitor. So she is actually able to um, you know, work from different 
structures as opposed to Regan's, which was that, that laptop feature. So um, another cool thing that Rachel has, which is actually very unique um, in a lot of office settings, and um, is this adjustable desk. So she is able to go from oh, a seated position actually into a standard posture. So if Regan, if you'd like to take a stand here, um, she can, the one thing you, with this, you want to make sure is that you have long enough cords that are able to accommodate a desk like this. Um, you want to make sure that when you're coming off, it's not pulling everything off the mat with a the standing desk. Um, Another good thing, so if Regan is typing here, you'll be able to see kind of that neutral posture. So we take this wrist rester away, and, Re and Regan's hands are having to be in a little bit more of a flexed position, which could cause discomfort and, you know, some tension throughout her day. But add that thing, that um, rest back in. She's able to take those rest breaks, um, keep her wrists in more of a neutral posture. Uh, again, that's probably one of the best fixes you could have to a workstation. Um, and then, you know, if you get tired, you're sitting at your desk all day, you're able to stand it up and then easily move it back down as well. So, like I said earlier, your best position is your next position. Um, maybe trying to incorporate that standing seated fixture into your day, um, almost, you know, even maybe every hour, making sure you get that stand. Like a lot of watch features now, you know, have that. Um, yeah, stand. which is actually an, also a great fixture that you could incorporate into, you know, your day is getting some kind of activity track, tracker, a watch, something like that, that gives you those subtle reminders, maybe even setting an alarm on your phone. It doesn't even have to be a watch. Something that reminds you like, hey, stand up, you know, maybe walk down the hall and back, um, get a little exercise, uh, stretch out a little bit, take a breath, rest your eyes from your screen. Um, big things with desks too is that you want to make sure that your monitors aren't. Um, so if you're if you want to have a seat again, Regan, scoot that chair up to the desk. You want to make sure your monitors aren't too far away. So actually, if Regan is sitting here, her and she holds her arms out, that these monitors aren't too bad. They're not too far away. Um, the farther away you get the more it actually it's, it is in front of you, but you might have to strain um, for, and then the same goes if they're too close to you. The best distance is about that arm's length away um, with the dual monitors, because if you're using both of them, you know, pretty frequently throughout the day, there's not one that you'd use as your main screen, keeping them at a kind of an angle like this so you're not having to turn your neck too much to look at the other monitor, you know, um, just, different little things like Easy that things. that you can incorporate so so what sort of injuries are we preventing by having a good workplace setup? a good workplace setup um, is really I mean it's gonna go more into that like carpal tunnel syndrome um, maybe even like some more like back pain type stuff shoulder pain that like if you're sitting in a maintaining one posture all day every day you're probably going to start getting you know maybe some muscle knots some tension in those spots some discomfort um, so that's why you want to make sure you're able to modify your workplace to best fit you always remember to keep changing that position um, carpal tunnel is a big one again so you know doing things that are, are better for your upper extremities um, you know Stretch. yeah putting in those stretches, um, keeping that wrist, those wrist rests, or, you know, modifying your keyboard so it's a little bit better for you. Our keyboards are pretty standard here, you know, sometimes they, they do have the ones that um, have like the split in the middle that make it a little bit, you know, wider for you. You don't have to keep them so tight when Close you're together. typing. Right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, just little just things like that. Yeah. yeah. Amber, do we have any questions on the screen? No? Okay, All awesome. Right. Well, if you do have any questions, place them in the comments below and we'll have Tiffany reply back to you if you have any questions about your workplace ergonomics. Um, thank you guys for taking yeah. time out of your Tuesday. Remember um, to comment below with your Trivia Tuesday question and if you didn't catch it, feel free to watch and watch and watch again until you get it. Um, yeah. Again, thank you and we'll see you next Tuesday. See you later, guys.